check out those minis. On a taxi, you can scream. Okay. But, but, oh, you've been racing, dude. That's a proper way of saying good morning comrades. Amazing Viper Green GT2 RS. Uh, just spoke to the owner, he said, every car I had so far, plenty of other super and hyper cars, were always black and this is the exception, proper exception. Pretty windy, let me get out of the wind view. I was hoping that the 218 would provide enough coverage from the wind, but it doesn't. But what I want to show you are the new red stickers for Apex and Nankang. It's going to get the big break kit of M Performance, which is also red. So it's going to be an amazing match. It's all the, the trunk lid, the ducktail is on its way as well. It should be here within two weeks. And then we need to have a front bumper, probably M Performance with some nice lip. That's going to be probably definitely the best bang for buck car because we haven't raised the price ever since we got it when it was stock and put all those mods on it a reminder it's just 110 euros including a lap ticket including fuel if you don't want a lap ticket if you don't want fuel well you'll have to have fuel if you have your own lap ticket it's only 80 euros a lap yeah um what else look there all the fences but before we get to the fences m2 is back yay and now the fences again very windy i'm sorry for that what is happening here in two weeks is going to be rockham ring probably the craziest event in terms of the type of people that come and the shit they do for example like the crazy story that happened last year at night i went out because i saw some light shining in our barn when it was still like not closed there was no door over there so I was checking, went out there, nothing was there because the light was shining through the barn from there. But <laughs> because I went out, I saw some girls peeing on a parking lot here. So I go to them like, and they're like, hey, go away, what are you doing here? Like, sorry, what am I doing here? What are you doing here? This is our house. Oh, mm, okay. True story. And that's just, that's the things that happen here around here. It's good for the economy. I'm not going to complain. It, the lineup is great. I would really love to go to Rockham Ring and maybe I will end up doing so just like for one hour because just look up the lineup yourself it's but let's talk about music another time what's happening today the 720 is getting PPF'd so I gonna go and uh, talk to you guys in detail let's do it now let's grab my gimbal first because uh, yeah I guess you're getting tired of the shaky footage hmm, I forgot my gimbal at home so I'm walking back home and then I see this is this a new one series Looks like it. Oh, look at that. A new 8 series. And the new X7. Okay, enough. Let's go get the gimbal. Very nice, very, very nice. Okay, now that I have my gimbal, I can show you what I wanted to show you, the PPF process of the 720. We will have to take off now to the Nimkin Jeep Cup, so it's going to be just a short video with some shots of Tom Stamp. First of all, huge shout out to those guys from Polish Falling Technique. They are based in Gimweiler, but actually they are going pretty much everywhere. It's like one and a half hour from here. They're doing a lot of stuff in Frankfurt. Uh, so basically what I want to say, if you need to have your car PPF'd on a short notice, like we usually do, like like, okay, you got the, you took delivery of your GT2 RS on Friday, on Saturday you have a track day, call them. That's what they did basically last time when Robert got the LT back and then the next day we had a track day. It's very windy, so let's quickly get inside. It's less windy here. That's nice. How's it going, guys? Good. First of all, thank you very much for doing this again for the second car. No problem. So, um, maybe in short, what are we doing here? Yeah, obviously we're doing PPF and some people know what it is, so but. Well, basically, we're protecting the car. So yeah. um, the idea is that we put a protective film on here that you ideally don't see at all or see very little of. And then the car is, is protected from rock chips and dirt. It's much easier to clean as well. Mm -hmm. So for instance, uh, like right here, you still see it hanging off a bit. Yep. And here you see the edge a little bit. Um, but uh, we try to wrap it around the edges. Mm -hmm. And if you step back, it looks like your normal yeah. car, but then when it gets battered by the rock chips and, and everything that you find on a racetrack, yeah, then, yeah, yeah. Uh, 
it comes off easily. Also, like the, the rubber, all the bugs, you can just clean them off with a dry cloth and yeah. it's nice again. Yeah, actually, I was telling that earlier, we were pretty stupid that we were uh, so late with it. Well, we had no other choice. So, actually, I think there was somewhere a stone chip. Oh, did you touch that? Yeah. yeah. Ah, okay, you kind of... Ah, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, so you can see it here. It, it's kind of retouched, but yeah, you can see it's already, like, damaged, so... Yeah, and here you see, like, with the, with the bugs also, mm -hmm. normally very difficult to take off and just go over it. Ah, yeah, yeah. With dry cloth, even. Yeah, so you don't have any like any uh, any yeah. product on it. No, no. Yeah, yeah. No, it's just a window cleaner. And yeah. It just takes it off. Yeah. Yeah, that's so, cool. Uh, in the end, you know, you can protect your car, mm -hmm. and it keeps it nice for longer. Yeah. On average, what's the cost of such a job? Um, on a normal car, depending on how much you do, mm -hmm. uh, the like whole front end, mm -hmm. the fenders, bumper, and hood is uh, around 1500 euros yeah so that's actually nothing that's if, if you compare for example again like the price of this car if you want to do it on your shit box of course it doesn't make sense because shit box in the first place is a shit box so you don't do ppf but on such a car 1500 euros to protect the fold because repainting the car or even if you need to replace parts because they damage beyond repair like we had like with uh, 675 lt it can cost like 50,000 or plus euros so that's amazing and I told already the guys that your like main point is that you can actually come all over the Germany, all over Germany, pretty yeah. much, and do it on the spot. So that's that's yeah. yeah like the front end takes about a day to do. Mm -hmm. And um, the nice thing is now they with the newest films uh, that we're using from uh, SunTech also, mm -hmm. it has a ten year guarantee. Oh so wow! So you put it on, and it's uh, guaranteed against yellowing, cracking, or anything wow. by the by the manufacturer. So if you put it on, then you're actually safe for a long time. Mm -hmm. Even if you're, you know, doing your 200 on the Autobahn the whole time, yeah. it'll still look pretty much factory new after after uh, five, six, seven, eight, or 10 years. Yeah, awesome, awesome. Now, another thing, you also do like wrapping of cars, just a traditional wrapping of yeah. commercial. And uh, before you guys think, okay, well, they just like, Home workers come to some people and to make like McLarens in the yeah McLarens in this case, which is not a bad thing. But um, for motorsport addicts among you, you also do minis of the car, right? Yeah, the mini yeah, team. Yeah, um, so we um, we're doing all the, the minis for the X-ray team. Mm -hmm. um, all the color that's on there is is uh, film. Yeah, because they're just carbon. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And I asked you, like, so do they use, like, PPF on, on the car car? That would be stupid. But you actually said that there is a part that they do yeah, PPF. A, t a small piece on the roof scoop because they, they always have to slide parts past it. Mm -hmm. And it would scratch up the, the um, film. So we put some paint protection film on it. So that piece is protected. But besides that, it actually holds up very nicely, even during the whole Dakar. Um, if, if they're going through sand and rocks and everything mm -hmm. for, for two weeks. But afterwards, depending on how good the driver is, <laughs> yeah, it actually yeah. <laughs> still looks pretty nice. <laughs> well, there you have it. I mean, if the car, car can survive, like, well, the, the film can survive the car treatment and the Nordschleife treatment, I guess that's like the best selling point. Well, again, th thanks a lot. I will not hold you up any longer. No problem. Yeah. And uh, yeah, hook those guys up if you need to have your car PPF'd or, uh, or wrapped or whatever. Uh, one more time, just the details you can find on the back of their amazing comedian bus. Look at that. Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's go to the Nürburgring King Drift Cup. There is not much action happening there today because we're just going to sign in. But let's check out some cars. And after that, start with a very busy TF. Our taxis are sold out tonight, right? Yeah, sold out tonight. Yeah, and a lot of cars uh, are actually also gone. It's yeah, both taxis are done. For T2 Thursday, it's crazy. Polo's out the whole time. M2 is going out, which is back. Yeah, That's yeah. Nice. Uh, Cooper's out for four laps. So, got a lot to fit in in two hours. Crazy, crazy. So lots of content for you guys. Let's go to Nürburgring Drift Cup. Fast forward into something yellow, and yellow means kind of limit events, and this means also Nürburgring Drift Cup. Hello. Hello. All good? Will you have this weather also the whole weekend, or? Yeah, it will be warmer every day. Oh, wow. Exciting, exciting. Well, more smoke, more smoke. Well, as you can see, it's pretty much empty, so no one has arrived yet. The most of the action will be up, I see, tomorrow. Tonight, there's also probably some party and barbecue, but we will have TF. So what can we show you? Some wing game, uh, lots of carbon fiber, and lots of wing, of course. On a 996 uh, GT3, I think. Yeah, yeah, looks like it. Nice, nice, nice. Here we go. 
all the way from France. We're gonna do more uh, with this car and actually this driver tomorrow because our focus on the video is going to be about international drivers. So we have France, we have Denmark, we have uh, Swiss, we have Slovakia, I think with 1300 horsepower. So it's going to be pretty cool, cool stuff. And obviously lots of Germans and lots of Dutch people and Belgium probably as well, but you understand the thing. Everything wants nearby, it's pretty easy to get here. Let's have a look what else we have there. Hello, hello. Hello. Oh, that's very fabulous color. That's very fabulous. It's tuning. <laughs> very light, very lightweight. And look at that. Again, similar color as the brake caliper. Lots of switches because they get you while you understand. And oh, wow. Is this tobacco refill? Wait, I'm not Booster Boris, that's pretty serious. Um, yeah, well, lots of cool stuff. To see more, check out probably the end video in a week. Yeah, I'll say a week this time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. gonna be a longer one, I think. Yeah, we'll see. That's what she said. Uh, oh, oh. It's going, it's going to happen. It's gonna pop the hood. Wow, RB20, how much? 20, um... OM is uh, 25, yeah. with the uh, Stroker kit uh, 28. 28. Yes. Yes, yes. Wow, very cool. Do you driving in um, in club or in pro? Oh. Pro. Cool, good. What do you have with you, by the way? <laughs> lots, of, oh, lots of tires, of course. Yes. <laughs> That's an obvious thing, yeah? Cool, well, enjoy. It's not really a drift car, but worth mentioning. Oh. <laughs> I think we may have seen this car at Nasi last year when we were getting tooth. Could be, but maybe not, but wow. That must be like what, RS6 brakes? Jack, what brakes are they? Yeah. Or, or the R8? Yeah, one of the two. Are these rear brakes? Yeah, yeah. So you can make a stoppy. And carbon fiber trunk, and carbon fiber diffuser, nice, nice pack. And of course, what's a drift event or any track day event without an E36? This one is special though, it has a G-Power compressor on it, so way north above uh, 500 horsepower. It's official sport auto car, it, uh, which is official sponsor of the Nürburgring Drift Cup. Also Nankang, so it's running NS2Rs, the same tires that we are gonna be running, we will be running today on most of the cars, 218 and uh, the Cupra and pretty much everything actually. So very much excited to see how they perform sideways or in grippy conditions. And just like the Golf that we filmed somewhere over there, we have here not a drift car, well, the S13 is, but this, look at that, the Bedford. And the condition of it is immaculate. It definitely has been re-sprayed once in its life. Can we look inside? Probably we can, yeah, wow. Awesome. This is very cool. This is like a, like, hats off for being that a service vehicle. This is probably the coolest service vehicle on the track here. Thank you very much. That's that's awesome. Thank you very much. I completely agree. <laughs> e46 with some roof scoop. Well, now uh, rear window scoop on the back means that the radiator is placed in the back, probably. Yep. Yep. Interesting. I wonder what engine it's running. The exhaust looks very JDM-ish to me, to be honest. Can the exhaust be JDM-ish? I think it can. I think it can. <laughs> Wastegate, mm, yeah, what would it be, 2JZ maybe, pretty common swap among those this type of cars. We will see tomorrow probably when the owner will be nearby the car. And then over there, or actually here, everywhere, we have the winner of the first edition of the Nürburgring Drift Cup all the way from Denmark. Uh, check out the video from last time, but now I want to show you this E30, which is also from Denmark and doesn't look stuck to me. Although. BMW V8 inside. Is there any turbo mounted to it? Doesn't, oh, well, yeah, there it is. So, big turbo. I wonder what this runs. Oh, huge side pipe. Well, past the fist test, just don't want to get my hands dirty, I'm sorry. Um, and also the same setup, rear radiator mounted. That's very cool, that's very cool. 
Hmm. I need to get myself like suit and uh, helmet because as of this year you need to have a full driver equipment, safety equipment, so suit, helmet, gloves and everything to be able to do passenger rides. But we will have plenty of GoPros. I have grow GoPros. Uh, Tom Bruno is borrowing us a couple. So there will be a lot of onboard footage for you guys nevertheless in the final video of the Nivikon Drift Cup round two, the big entry. This is pretty much it. Of course there are some people arriving. Uh, but we'll have to get back to TF because in about 30 minutes it's gonna kick off with all the preparations doing the paperwork So let's go back to Apex and have some laps Quick fast forward back to Apex before we go I'm pretty hungry and the only thing I could find are the unicorn cakes So whoever brought them here huge shout out to you guy. That's that's awesome. They're gonna save me now Unicorns, yum. And today, the first car of the day is the new upgraded to a team with new wheels. Oh yeah, here at Rumble. We really need to do something about the sound. Maybe ask Rodeo Exhaust, or just take the mid muffler out. Okay, arrived at the car park. We are 15 minutes early, so there was something like, over oh, there we go. Prototypes going on the track. I think there was a GTR Club Sport of AMG. Lots of Porsches happening today. Lots of Porsches. Today, the star of the show is Kevin, all the way from US. Yeah. Where exactly from? From Texas. Austin, Texas. Oh, wow. Wow, that's actually something I would really want to visit once. And your lovely wife. I forgot your name. So, yes. Chrissy, yeah. So, yeah, what's your expectations? Um, I'll probably be screaming in the back. And I just hope I'm not loud enough for him to hear me. <laughs> I don't want to. Silence screams. Right. Yeah, use use your inner voice. <laughs> Good. Well, let's wait till the track's open and hop in, do some laps. After that, you have taxi. Yeah. On a taxi, you can scream. Okay. That, that's good. And I then and then, and then we do the Cupra. The cool, cool. And the fast forward to the taxi car park. We have again the more of a Porsche game going on. There's the RS3 that we saw earlier this morning, I believe. Yep. And here, what I want to show you is a Megan RS. Next to the Polo, of course, and next to the Skoda RS. But I want to show this another RS. This is something actually I really, really would love to um, possess, drive, own. And I'll tell you a small secret. I'm actually like almost ordered one, but not, not the RS, but uh, RS Trophy. So waiting for the Trophy to come out next year because I just, again, a quick story, four doors, basically a hatchback you can have a lot of stuff inside it will be practical unless you're gonna strip it out and cage it which might happen at some point but not like not now hmm. yeah and still probably gonna be the fastest prompt with driven car once the trophy is out and because that's what Megan well that what what Renault Sport RS usually do so we will see about that but just like a short glimpse into my idea in between still don't worry I will not be like a capitalist uh, I'm now kind of window shopping for uh, something temporary shitbox-ish. Actually, I was looking at Toyota Glanza yesterday. Yeah, so maybe, maybe that. We'll see. Well, waiting for the track to be open and heading out. Not too bad. It's not too bad. Not too bad. Oh. Well, all the other cars I think are running, so there's not much of a start here. But then again, you see so much. Yeah, I actually really want to apologize to some of you guys for having the first month of vlogging actually m making like a taxi show. I'm actually kind of sorry, but then again, we put lots of effort on the taxi program, and that's why I forgot the rental car things and uh, everything else. So there'll be a variation of content, I promise. But now let's go to the car and go on the track. There we go. So, anyone's doing a Le Mans start? No, it's actually pretty, pretty calm. It's a top-down weather. I don't know why he's having his top up. He you know he's doing it right. Two laps done. You didn't scream. I didn't no. <laughs> I guess it's a good thing. You're a good driver. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna swap this for a Cupra. Enjoy your taxi ride. Thank you. And check out those minis. They're oh, so awesome. Cool. They're so cool. Cool. Well, have fun. See you in a bit. Thanks.
Okay, the Cooper already here and now jumping in this M5 from the M Flight group. Yep, you've seen it probably a week ago in my vlog. We already did some laps back then. And now he's back some more for some more. I can understand that. I can understand that. Only for you. Uh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And the taxis are back. Yep, the other one is over there. All the cars are back in one piece as well. So, what can I say? It's been a very good, very nice day. I hope you guys enjoyed today's content. I certainly have. It was a variety, a lot of it. Tomorrow, lots of drifting, never can drift cup. So, uh, for this highway section, make sure to check in tomorrow. And, oh, yeah, yeah, the 218. Amazing car. Looking forward to when the brakes are going to be installed on that one. And, yeah. See you guys tomorrow. Oh, nice. Evo, Evo 10. Bye. What? The what? what? Oh, you've been racing, dude. Like oh. some stupid guy in a paddock and spa yesterday. Right? Oh, really? So it wasn't even on the racetrack? No. <laughs> but in the paddock. The car was parked and then. Yeah. Okay. You got the keys? Ice cold car. Ice car. Robbing is racing. <laughs> Watch out. Another rub. Yeah. <laughs> One, two, and three. Three. Yeah, so M2 is officially a five seater now. Good. What I want to show you, some prototypes are having dinner where we are going to have dinner at Zurberg, Nürburg, yep. Look at that, what's that? That's a CLA, no, that's an A-class sedan or something with a big screen and lots of, uh, lots of camo. But why? Isn't it not still revealed? Look at those exhaust tips. Yep, AMG GTR, also factory car, GT4, what is it saying? Hmm. Why would they install child seat on a factory development car? I don't know. Oh well. Food time. The Zurberg place was unfortunately a bit overcrowded, so now we moved to La Lanterna. Hello, Fabi. Um, and <laughs> we uh, changed. Oh, look at that. This looks like like even like police setup or something. I oh, know this is like the the distance measure, but it looks pretty ghetto. I must say. So basically, we swapped the Mercedes uh, development vehicles for Audi development vehicles. You can have a look here. Lots of laptop equipment and oh, yeah, safety equipment. So what are we looking at? Obviously, seven series, but it's like out of out of production. So strange to see. Oh, and the new seven. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. That's um. See where it's got that. That means yeah. it's got laser. Yeah. Oh, it's blue. Okay. So that also then has all LED rear lights. Yeah. And it's got all LED headlights as well. So uh -huh. when you turn it on, it goes from the middle out, then back in, and then across. Ah. Yeah, you used to sell Audis, huh? Yeah. Can you tell? Hmm. Okay. But yeah, that's insane. It's also they've also got a W12 AA. Over there, yeah. Car. On. See the center console is like a tablet. Yeah. And behind it you got the electric seats. Uh huh. So that tablet actually comes out. Oh wow. And you can use it. And then you can control everything around Nice. Can't be right now. Yeah. yeah. Omelette for dinner, not for breakfast. Don't judge me. Doesn't matter what you order at Lanterna or the Tiramisu, it's the best thing ever. The best part about the everything. For me it is. 